Tyler Kepke along with Coach Base. Today we're gonna to bring you another tutorial video, which I call the Step Curry Series in the half court, using our inside out dribble to set up our pick and roll play. So for the first action that we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to start around half court, so we come into the get and come into the pick and roll situation like a game. Once you're attacking full speed, getting the ball to the wing position. Okay. Once we're in the wing position, we're going to protect the ball, get the ball to our right hand. You can do that in different ways, whatever way you feel comfortable. You can bring it through your legs, get it tap behind your back, but most importantly, we want to make sure that we keep the ball protected. Now once the ball is in my right hand, okay, we're going to get it here. It's going to be a big side step, inside out, like we worked on in our previous attack series videos. And as I do that, I'm trying to get my defender to bike, go down, so then I have a great angle to come off the screen and I'm going to run my defender into it. When I set him up, I want my eyes on the rim, I want to come off shoulder to shoulder, so tight around the cone. Then we want to get into the middle of the paint, get two dribbles, left, right, pull up. Okay, now the second action off this series is everything's going to be the same. I'm going to come down, protect the ball, get the ball to the wing set up with my inside out. Now that I've come off a couple times, my defender's probably gonna jump up, trying not to let me use the screen. I'm gonna use a counter. In this case, our counter, we're gonna set up with an inside out, go behind the back. Just one of Steph Curry's favorite counter moves off the inside out. Now the third option we're gonna use now that we've come off the screen, we've hit him with the counter. We're gonna simulate that I hit him with my inside out and he jumps back and goes under the screen. So as a good offensive player, as soon as I do my inside out and I see the defender go back under, I gotta raise up into my jump shot. Okay, one key detail that I wanna emphasize when, we, when we're pulling up for a shot behind the screen is our footwork, because efficiency is key in this situation. So what I wanna show you is when I hit my defender with this inside out as a setup and I see him jump back and go under, my footwork is gonna be right left. So in slow motion, inside out, pull back, right left into my shot. Now the last option in this series is splitting the pick and roll. So one thing we wanna really emphasize again, is making sure we bring the ball down to the level of the screen, getting the ball to our right hand where we can protect it, hitting them with a good inside out, big side step and head and shoulders. Now as I come off, I have to recognize right away if I'm gonna split. It takes a good player to be able to recognize it and I'll know as soon as I hit him with my inside out and start to come off, I'll know if that defender's jumping out. Now one key point here, when you try and split, I come off, I want my shoulders facing the other sideline, it's gonna be a low crossover, nice low and tight and through. I'm gonna protect the ball the whole way and go through. Now we're gonna talk about creating space to get our shot up. And the move that I like to use the most is the step back. So our first step back, the fundamental step back where I'm attacking with either hand, planting on my top foot, creating space into my shot. There's a couple things I want us to focus on. Number one, I always want our eyes on the rim. Okay, number two, it's very important that when you do your step back that you don't push off, don't extend your arm. When I'm attacking, I might drop my shoulder a little bit, bump with my body, but I cannot extend my arm, okay? And lastly, because right now we're working on going into our shot, we're working on picking the ball up, I wanna work on that. When I plant and step back, that I'm getting my feet squared up in the proper position. So a quick recap on our basic step back is that make sure that when you're attacking hard, you plant on your top foot and you try and cover as much ground as possible. And if you notice on my shot, when I plant and step back, I square up and that my footwork is right left into my shot. Now one other thing I want to talk about is on that shot I faded a little bit. Now some coaches say you have to go straight up and down after your step back and all these things. In my opinion, I don't personally believe that, especially if you're a smaller player. You have to be able to attack deep into the defense, step back, and sometimes you do have to fade a little bit to get that shot up and over the defense. Okay, now the second step back that I'm gonna talk about is what I call the pullback. Now a couple of focus points on the pullback. Number one, when I'm attacking, I'm gonna plant with my top foot. If it's my right hand, it's gonna be my right foot. 
Now I want to make sure that I'm not too far forward or it's going to be very hard to get enough power on this leg to jump back. I want to make sure that I'm in a balanced position, okay? So I'm balanced and when I pull it back, it's a hop. Now sometimes when you do your pullback, it might just be pullback shot. But what I want to work on today is that when I pull back, I hop back and cover ground at the same time. Okay, so the last step back that we're gonna work on is what I call the hard pound step back. A couple things I want you to focus on with this is one, your hard pound through your legs like you're gonna attack, you really have to excel that you're gonna go. And two, that when you pick it up and you pull it over that you're covering ground laterally. Okay, now those are all our step backs that we're gonna work on today. I'm quickly now gonna show you some live shots of me starting with my other hand, my left hand. Okay, now that we're finished our series on our step back, there's a couple things I want to remind everyone of. Number one, the most important thing with your step back is, is I'm selling that I'm attacking you hard, trying to drive you back on your heels, and then stepping back to create space. Number two, this is with a couple of step backs in particular. When you're go if you're a right-handed shooter and you're going to your right and you step back, make sure that you square your body up. So a lot of times when you go to your right as a right-handed shooter, it's a little bit harder to square your body up. So make sure you really emphasize that when you're practicing this. Uh, secondly, when I'm doing my hard pound step back, starting with it in my right hand, if I'm a right-handed shooter, it's the same thing. Make sure that when you come back that you get squared up to the hoop because it's a little bit harder when you're a right-handed shooter going to your right.